Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bikes. I am your friend Amazon Shakti Vail. In this video, we will see about the bike consumer. Bike consumer is a bike type for your consumer interface. The reason they have named it as consumer, right? It's because it's consuming something. The abstract method that is available in the consumer interface is accepting some parameters. That's the name. That's the reason why they have named it as accept. The method name is accept, right? And the interface name is consumer. So by consumer already indicates that it is accepting two parameters. The consumer interface accepts just one parameter. The method here accepts one parameter. And here the by consumer accepts two parameters. And we'll see how we can use that in our test automation framework. Uh, apart from that, we'll also see other what are the other consumer interfaces that are available in Java that we can use, right? So let's go to the Eclipse workspace without wasting much time. And I have already created certain config.property files uh, that has browser as Chrome, URL as dev, some, some values, right? So we normally tend to use a lot of configuration properties uh, in our uh, test automation framework, how we can effectively read them with the help of, uh, I want to read them and print uh, with the help of uh, Java, right? In, in a conventional way, we used to load it and then we use a for each loop. Again, you can use an entry set or key set or depending upon your, uh, you know, convenient and then you try to print that, right? But instead of doing all these things, right, you can type prop dot, right, uh, for each. So the for each here accepts by consumer. So again, the question mark, you ignore this question mark, it accepts two things. One is object type and another is object type. So it accepts two parameter, right? If you want to even go and see, press control shift and T, open the by consumer interface. And if you notice the accept method here accepts two arguments, right? One of them is T and one of them is U, which means it, T can be anything, U can be anything as well. So it, you can also do consumer chaining, by consumer chaining as well, it has so, as and then method. Right? You can chain two by consumers and you can chain two consumers. You cannot chain a consumer and a by consumer. Right? So good. So this is the by consumer interface and it has an accept method that accepts two parameters. In our case, it accepts two parameters. Both of them are object types. So for each. So if you notice object, object. So what I can tell, um, let's name it as, so anyways, the property files contains key and value, right? So basically I can give key and value, right? So key comma value, okay? If I get these two parameters, what I have to do, I just want to do a sysout, okay? So K plus colon V, right? As simple as that, you can, this is not needed. So this is a Lambda expression that we can write, you know, to accept two parameters and print them to the console. So it will work absolutely fine, right? Let's try to run it and then check whether it is working or not. Run as Java application. Hey guys, this is very, very simple use case, okay? You can leverage this to use in any other place where you feel it is relevant, right? If you notice, it has printed these four. Uh, using the conventional way and this is the java 8 way again if you feel little difficult in you know writing a lambda expression directly you can create a, a, in a variable uh, reference uh, like uh, let's say i want to create something now uh, uh, private uh, static uh, by consumer right by consumer and it accepts both of them are objects basically so object object type right and here I'll name it as by consumer equal to. So I accept two parameters. It can be anything, guys. It can be A comma B or you know C comma D, anything. But you know, in our case, it's key comma value. So I am I'm telling K comma B. You can also mention key comma value, that's absolutely fine. Then the lambda operator and then your operation. So right. So K plus colon. B, right? And then you can pass this by consumer as well, right? Control M. And instead of this whole stuff, you can pass by consumer, right? That's absolutely fine. Again, the same way, if you're little feeling little com in uncomfortable, the properties file alone, you can use uh, entry set. So if you, if you call this entry set method, which is basically we use here, okay? Then you can also use for each with consumer. This time it accepts a consumer. So notice the difference, guys. It accepts a entry type, 
entry type which is just having a generic of object comma object so basically whatever the e you know entry is basically you can represent with e e dot you know get key so basically you want to do a sort right so sys out e dot get key and then plus colon e dot get value right you can do this right anyways you can use a by consumer or you can use a consumer you have the options here okay you can also use key set the same way how we are using entry set you can also use key set right that also accepts uh, consumer good apart from that uh, i have another use case where if, if you are using a lot of maps right if you are using map interface in your code okay i i have took a very simple sample uh, that has a key as integer and value as uh, string the conversion way way of iterating this and printing the values is using an entry set or your key set right this is how we used to do the iteration for a map but from java 8 you can easily do that with the help of map dot for each and this accepts a by consumer so if you notice the key is now integer it can be integer or super class of integer the value can be string or super class of string so here again i it is it doesn't matter right i can still use k comma v or i can still use a comma b anything is fine okay so sys out a comma b that's it so you can use like this i mean if you are lit, feeling little uncomfortable you can use entry set dot for each i mean this time it accepts a consumer right or you can also use key set so key set right dot for each so this also accepts a consumer this time it can be the key can be integer or the super type of integer so for each so let's say i am pa passing a key what i want to do i want to do a sys out of key and then plus colon plus mm um, map dot cage value right so we can write like this right so key and then we can do a system dot out dot println the key is k and then colon map dot get of key get of key can give us the value right so you can use that to iterate the your whole stuff and then print it in the console right you can use it in the test automation space wherever you want to use it right so this is how it is right good so i think we have covered whatever uh, you know we want to cover but uh, there are other consumer interfaces that i want to cover okay what are them so let me go back to my if you notice these are the other consumer interfaces that are available in java so the name itself suggests what it is right can anyone guess what is what is it double consumer which means this is a consumer interface that accepts double as the input argument to the method so in consumer it is a interface that accepts one parameter and that parameter is a integer value long consumer is the consumer that accepts only one long value as a input to the single abstract method so object int consumer is a by consumer that accepts two parameters one among them can be anything but the second one is obviously integer the object double by consumer with one parameter as object and another one as double right object long indicates it's a by consumer with one type of object and another type of long i'm going where you have find this information so you, you can just go to their class implementations if you notice this is a double consumer that accepts a double value right previously it was t comma t in the consumer interface but this is a very specific interface that accepts double right if you are if you have the intention to pass uh, uh, you know use a abstract method that accepts a double value then you can use this double consumer instead of consumer right it's it's more specific right it's not wrong that you have you cannot use the consumer normal consumer interface but if it is more specific please try to use this again in the same way let's have a look at the another interface object in consumer if you notice we are passing t as a generic type to this class but we are only passing it to the post parameter so the accept accept method the first parameter is generic but the second is fixed 
you the second value if if you're if you're having an you know use case where the first one is you know is of generic type and the second one is always int then you can go for object in consumer when you can always use consume by consumer if you if you're feeling little uncomfortable using any of these specific consumer types right good so i have i i have covered almost all things with with respect to consumer uh, one thing that i want to do a revision is um, let's control shift and t and let me go to the consumer interface one thing okay consumer is an interface that accepts some parameters and doesn't return anything all right the accept method here there is a reason behind the naming so it is consuming something it is consuming an argument right we can imagine like that they would have named this as my interface or they would have named it as anything but the reason they have named it as consumer because it is consuming something the reason they have named it as accept because it is accepting a parameter so with this it is very very clear from the name itself we can understand what kind of uh, method signature it can have right i hope it makes sense and uh, you know i uh, also hope that you have learned something out of this video if you feel uh, you are learning from this video please do share subscribe this channel and then uh, share it with your friends guys it will be really helpful for me as well thank you guys uh, i'll see you all in another great video until then tada bye bye